Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Rover's Mead. It's another lovely day. So nice today. All right, I think it's time for you to come in, Mr. Blueberry. Oh, well, that's what he thought of that. <laughs> Clearly, he does not want to come in. You're going to have to come in soon. Oh, all right, you can stay out a bit longer. Is it still nice and crispy out there? Okay. Another frosty day means they get a little bit of turnout on the ground again. Oh no, it's not too bad out here. Ooh, eh. it's okay. We've got you in the trash field anyway, haven't we? Because I know what you're like. I don't trust you to go in the big field now because you went through the fence, didn't you? Because you're naughty. So you're in the naughty boy pen today. Yes, yes you are. Don't eat my scarf. I like this scarf. Oh, rude. <laughs> He's got such a personality. Oh, right. Okay. He can stay out for a little bit longer. Clearly he's not done being a feral outdoor pony just yet. Uh, he is going to have to come in within the next half hour though, because it is starting to get a little bit squishy out there. And that sun, you can see it is really, really coming up now. So stuff's going to start thawing out quickly. Oh, the other two, however, can stay out probably a little bit longer just because they don't hair around like blue does and they don't cause as much trouble. All right, so today, got a bit of a, I think today is going to be a bit of a pottering day, actually. Um, I, I'm, I'm sort of pretty much down here all day. I'm waiting for a delivery to come. We've got gravel and stuff coming to do the greenhouse base today. I mean, the stuff's coming today. I don't know whether I'm going to get the base done today or not. That is a whole other task in itself. But the stuff's coming, so I have to wait down here for Mr. Delivery Man. No idea when they're going to come. It just kind of said it would be somewhere between 10 and 4. So that's quite a big time window, but that's okay. Because I have a lot of jobs to do. I know I keep saying this, but I really do have a lot of jobs to do. But somebody commented on this the other day, which is really funny. Um... Yeah, somebody commented that I had a list of things to do, but I didn't really have a list. I now actually have a list. Ha ha ha. It's a list. It's a work in progress, that list. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be more things that need to go on it very, very soon. Um, I kind of feel like I might try and subcategorize it. I might do that today, actually. So I've got quite a lot of space around and about. I feel like I want to split it into like... DIY list and garden list and horsey list and uh, the purchase list as well. I feel like I need to subcategorize my to-do list a little bit. <sighs> Can you tell being organized is a new muscle for me? This is, this is very new territory and I'm not very good at it yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I need to get all my stables done. I've actually been fiddling in the garden for about the last half hour. I got some rat proof mesh that I've been putting up because the rats, oh, they're just a nightmare at the moment. Like, I know I keep saying it, but I really did not give Billy the credit he was due um, for the services he provided down here. He was such a good rat catcher. And it's kind of a mess over here at the moment because I've been clearing out and working, but um, I've got my rat mesh, this stuff. I've actually lacerated my hands on that this morning, which is why I've put my gloves back on now. I've just put a load of antiseptic cream on them and put my gloves back on. Because that looks like galvanised steel wire and it's got really sharp edges. Like really, really sharp edges. So I'm going to have to be more careful with that when I carry on in there in a bit. But I was getting a bit carried away with that, like I do with everything in life. And I thought, yeah, I should probably go get my stables done. And then next thing I know, I've got Kevin in my hands and I'm vlogging and talking to you guys so really good at the adulting thing huh yeah it's officially defrosting it's getting quite warm now as well actually so i think it's time i better go back to get them off that grass Are 
you ready? Oh, have you disassembled the jump? Why'd you do that? What'd you do that for, city girl? Huh? <laughs> right, come on, children. Time to come in. Come on. Why coming in is so exciting to them? It's such a strange thing. Every time I open a gate, they're like, Whee! <laughs> At least they're no trouble to bring in though, I suppose. It's just, I don't understand what the excitement is. Right, come on Stumps, you two. In we go. Come on, no, Woody, stay in there. Come on. In. No. Hey. What the hell, Woody? Hey, don't be mean to the pony. That wasn't nice. That wasn't nice, mister. That wasn't nice. Come on, in. You big bully. Go in. In. And you, trouble. Come on. Mr. Woodster, what did you do that for? It's not like you to be nasty. That's usually Nelly and Blue's job. What's up, bro? Why are you being mean? Huh? Did you just feel like it? Felt like throwing your weight around, huh? Don't do it again, grumpy boy. Oh, honestly, that's not like him. He's usually really sweet. He very rarely pulls scowlies and has a go at someone. But on the odd occasion he does do it, he always does it to Stumpy because she's the only one he knows he can get away with bullying. Oh, it's like having children, it really is. Did you get stuck on the wrong side of the gate? Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, is that not an amused face? Sorry. stuck the wrong sides of gates lately. It's really funny. And then he does that when he comes through it. Clearly all of our animals just have a thing for going through gates. It's, it's the highlight of their day, apparently. Right, I need to get this finished. I've done Woody's, well, I've half done Woody's. I needed to bail Woody and Nell's stables out because I didn't do them yesterday because I was feeling a bit crappy yesterday, actually. So I wasn't moving too quickly. No. Bits of paste off the wire. Yes, I know, it's safe now, Woody. Yeah, so I'm a little bit behind this week on my dig outs, but I've done the worst one. This is always the worst one. Woody is a very messy boy in the stable, so Nelly's going to be nice and easy now. And then I think I'm going to crack on with some garden and stuff. I need to get the rest of that greenhouse area cleared and leveled. Ready to get that gravel down later. Well, I just went into the uh, just went into the bedding shed to get some bedding out, and this has actually been on my to-do list for a couple of weeks now to tidy up in here because it is carnage, and I didn't realise how bad it was. I knew the rats had been in here, but now that I've moved all of the kind of loose stuff out of the way and I can actually see what's going on, it's quite bad. Yeah, so it's just. Oh yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, there's some of my garlic I had in here that, and they've just absolutely, they've just moved in and owned it basically. Um, I think I did, I had, I had a few cloves of garlic left over in here that I was planning on planting. I've actually already planted quite a lot of garlic. Um, I mean, I can plant more garlic. You can never have too much garlic, right? I love garlic. Yeah, so I had I had some garlic bulbs in there that were still drying, and I think I had some some marigold, um, like oh, what do you call it? Like 
flower heads basically drying like seed heads i don't know what you call it but i had some of those in here drying as well and they're pretty much gone they have been pulverized and just spread everywhere <sighs> rats are such a pain in the butt so yeah anyway that that all needs cleaning out i kind of got distracted now i haven't got as far as actually well i kind of started nelly's and then i came in to get some some clean bedding out to put in woodies and now this it's a good job i got all day down here today isn't it <laughs> i feel like it's just going to be one of those days where jobs turn into mammoths again but at least i'm getting it done and i can cross it off my list and that will make me very happy so i'm just just like digging in my garden oh deliveries come by the way gravel on the timbers here so yay um <laughs> i was just digging around you know starting to turn some of the beds over ready for spring planting and i kind of hit something a bit hard under the ground kind of figured it was a stone dug it up <laughs> it's a giant parsnip that is huge and it's very very heavy oh and i dropped it whoops yeah wow oh it smells so good i wonder if there's any more in here i didn't think any of my parsnips germinated last year so i wasn't really expecting to find any i did stick my fork through it though whoops oh well that'll be dinner for tonight Have you stopped being cute because I got the camera out? Huh? Typical, huh? Typical. Oh, you're doing it again. Funny boy. Well, I feel like I kind of blinked and now all of a sudden it's tea time for them. <laughs> it's nearly five o'clock. Oh, you're ready to come out, aren't you? You've had enough of being in now. I see they're just eating their dinner at the moment. Still can't get over this giant parsnip. I mean, this is huge. That is, I think that is without a doubt the biggest parsnip I have grown to date. So that is a win. I hope it tastes good. It smells amazing. Um, yeah, I've kind of run out of juice now, to be honest. I've done a fair bit in here today. Um, you guys, I'll show you. I feel like I've just, I've, I've done a lot of moving stuff around, really. So there, all those beds are along here now. They were here, there and everywhere, scattered all over the place. So they're all along here now. That's gonna be kind of like herbs and nice smelly stuff because eventually that is gonna be our seating area, is the plan. I have the vision, it will happen. <laughs> the junkyard will turn into a lovely garden. Um, so yeah, herbs are gonna be all along there. And I've kind of just been moving this big old mound of dirt that we did have in here. And I've got, well, I've got part of the base done. I'll say we need to put the frame together to put the gravel down so it doesn't all spill out everywhere. But that is a job for tomorrow because I am pooped now, absolutely pooped. I was surprised how much compost was in that little area over there. I mean, I just had a few raised bed things over there and it just seemed to go on forever and ever and ever. It's just so much compost, which I'm not complaining about. It was really nice compost. Hence, I didn't want to leave it underneath where the greenhouse is going because it kind of felt like a waste. But yeah, getting there. Progress is happening. Right, would you like some hay? Would you like some hay? Am I busy playing with the camera and not paying attention to your needs? Huh? I'm sorry, Mr. Pooter. Right, let's get him some food before he kicks even more holes in his door. You know, I always love this time of day when the horses have had their dinner and all of a sudden everything goes really like quiet and relaxed. I don't know if other people find that who have horses, but once once tea time's been and gone, 
there's just like this kind of tranquility around the yard. I mean, if it wasn't for the motorway, all I'd hear right now would be like munching sounds. It's just quite nice. I like this time of day. Oh, I'm absolutely pooped now. It's been a good day. Got a lot of gravel to move tomorrow. But it's all good. I just consider it a workout. <laughs> Are you all right, sausage? I didn't do anything with you today, did I? I'm sorry. Are you wiping your dinner all over my shirt? Yes, as usual. Thank you for that. What are you doing? Are we going to go for a nice ride in the morning? Can I get that piece of hay off your hair? What's she doing in here? You want that back? <laughs> Oh yeah, I think plan for tomorrow. First things first, go out for a nice long ride with these guys. I want to go out the woods. I really wanted to go out the woods this morning, but I had to wait in for the delivery. So no riding this morning. And if you leave it too late in the day, it gets really peeply everywhere. So it's not, you know, not great to go up there really past about nine o'clock. It starts to get really peeply and re there's loads of like dogs up there as well. And yeah, you always meet that one person who can't control their dog and it just, I just don't like it. So I just avoid going up there when it's busy if I can. I think, and I, I think we can actually be on them, probably, I would say we can be on them and out the gate by 7am now, which is good. I'm liking that. Lighter days are coming, people. Spring is on its way. <laughs> Anyway, I am going to finish off tidying up um, and I'll see you guys in the morning.